those shows came, mm. and um, they actually asked the others um, if they could be replaced because mm. they had some history with them or they didn't think they were fair enough. And uh, uh, the lawyers of the two uh, rate, uh, TV stations. Yes were asking that members of the adjudication board be replaced. Be replaced yes. Mm -hmm. Because they belong to the wrong religion or, or No, no, because they felt that uh, the members were already prejudging them. I see. Yeah. And uh, what happened was that um, we sanctioned one of the shows mm -hmm. and they were suspended for a, a couple mm -hmm. of months mm -hmm. and we had uh, we had a case and I've been getting all these court uh, what, these envelopes and everything and, and all these thick papers and I always ask the lawyers to read it for me and say, uh -huh. you know, just tell me if I'm going to be jailed or mm. not. Well, what do you mean? The, the, the station that was suspended by your adjudication committee uh, got back at you legally? Yes. Yes, yes. I've always heard of how, yeah, this is one of the perils of being a member, yes. right? I mean, so we have perks and privileges, but some perils uh, mm -hmm. include being even hailed into the to the ombudsman yes, or something yes. like that. So it's yeah. very difficult. Sometimes I, mm. you know, I I can't sleep at night because I'm worried about mm. about the show. And it's like oh, I um, thought it was because you were thinking of me or, or, or someone well, else uh, in the like, MDRC. I, would, I wouldn't no, even no, say yeah. that. I mean, all the all the debts I have. For. <laughs> so things like that. Um, mm. It's like um, if it bothers my conscience mm. and I make yeah. you know and I and I vote on mm. it, mm -hmm. but but it's going to you know mm. put me in danger. You know, it's difficult. Which brings us to that situation that has often uh, been used to uh, characterize the MTRCB that very often, I've heard our fellow members say this, that we're very often in a damned if you do, damned yeah. if you don't situation. As you said earlier, uh, if some committee uh, gives a G rating, for instance, or a general patronage rating to something like Lord of the Rings, there will be some parent who will complain that thousands of creatures are being killed in that movie. How can you give it a GP? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, they will say the orcs or the monsters were beheading the elves mm -hmm. or whatever. This is violence. And then comes the, the, the very rational debate uh, Actually, or argumentation. Even the board members. Yes, that's what I mean. Like yeah. when that's somebody, right. you know, a group rates it this way, and yeah. then the more mm -hmm. conservative ones, mm -hmm. like during the board meetings, we have yeah, like yeah. such long discussions no. about why yes except unlike religious that. programs we we don't curse one another right no 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 uh, under the table None we do or under our breaths yeah. but but or never in public here yeah oh yeah, yeah. That, that's like that, that's <laughs> one of the advantages well. of being a senior citizen you know <laughs> when you're uh weak in the ear already right. yeah mm -hmm. uh but that brings us to there was a particular preview that i recall quite recent oh Batman, the Batman movie, right? Okay. I was yes. a member of the uh, the, the, the initial committee. Oh, we were second yeah. committee. Oh, were yeah. you? Yes. Oh. How dare you overturn our uh, our ruling? And what was your rating? What um, did you give? My, my own rating was uh, PG-13. Okay, yeah. and the other two? Uh, we were divided across the board. I had a PG-13. My two colleagues in the committee had an R R13 and one had an R18. What? So it was difficult to uh, put no. together. No, I know, I, I know. Yeah, know. I yeah, yeah. I can't. Uh, we can. Uh, it's, it's not Mario Hernando. Let let me put it that way. <laughs> it's not uh, gonna yeah. be him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, yeah. he, he doesn't Mario's wake up cool. early enough anyway to <laughs> watch previews that start at uh, eleven in the morning or, right. or twelve noon. But we we were uh, there for the second review, yeah. and he was there earlier than I was. Yes. So your committee of five. Well, what happened? You you were you um it was were you a unanimous decision. unanimous yeah. PG thirteen mm -hmm. PG thirteen yeah well reason but being but it was a very a G. yes but yeah. then I was I I always tell the producers or distributors that it's that that asking for the extreme GP mm -hmm. is often a tactic that you use mm -hmm. so you have haggling space mm -hmm. right and everybody knows it that. doesn't quite work all you the know. time mm -hmm. though. It it's doesn't. Just it doesn't. Yeah. Classification, and we don't That's really right. follow. Yeah. But, but how can someone ask for a GP for a movie like Dark Knight, mm -hmm. where there is actually this rather extended scene, where Heath Ledger, uh, or rather uh, Joker. Joker, places a knife inside someone's mouth, mm -hmm. and you know that he's gonna slit. You know, he's gonna slit the give give him a smile the way his father gave him a smile. Just right? trying to get away with stuff. Uh, right. Yeah. It's just the you know, like when you talk about Batman from mm -hmm. from before, 
it's like you know cartoons and something animated. That is the argument. This is yeah. where I find it's it. Uh, I find it uh, fascinating and engrossing to uh, operate to, to be part of the board because of the argumentation. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. you know, among the distributors, among the committee themselves, you know, the committee members themselves, because we had a very long discussion, which was very intelligent. Uh, about how Batman has become darker and darker, yeah, yeah. you know, and uh, the, the distributor was saying, you know, but everybody knows it's comic stuff. Yeah, but it's, it's comic stuff, I was saying, but it has begun to involve deep philosophical questions yeah, about good and evil. It's actually yeah. like an art film now. Which makes it a little more adult than your usual yes, GP. Exactly. And then how do you explain, as one lady with me said, uh, how do you explain the, the psychological terror you know, mm -hmm. uh, even if there is no blood shown spurting, mm -hmm. like again, like Lord of the Rings or any of these mythic movies, uh, when you have psychological terror, there was a scene where a boy was being manhandled, right? And again, yeah, th that threatening scene with the knife, you know. Mm -hmm. And you had to explain it. So at the very least, it would have to have been a PG-13. But the argument was perhaps even worse, R-13. R uh, in any case, this is a very interesting discussion, but we promise not to bore you any further about the workings of the m 3 sb because after our gap, I'd like to get into the other uh, hats worn by these two fascinating ladies. We'll see you after the break. Crip use on your host uh, for our topic tonight, ladies of the MTRCB, and uh, we mean that only to uh, as as the representatives of the MTRCB, uh, not necessarily the prettiest uh, among our ladies. Uh, In your eyes, I say not necessarily, but they could be. They it's, could be. Uh, so who do you, you know, think? It's it, a random choice. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. This Come is something on. that Come I on. do not classify or rate. Okay, but yeah, no, yeah, yeah, but we're asking yeah, yeah. you run it up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're practically asking Paris to cast the apple, you Just know, among the muses <laughs> and start a war, you know, a ten year <laughs> war. Uh, I'll go with uh, Mario Hernando. Uh, on anything oh, about the MTRCB. That's his taste. We yeah, shouldn't yeah. question. Right, okay, right, okay. right. Well, he, always yes. he, yeah, he always looks fresh in the afternoon. Exactly. Yeah, he always looks very fresh in the afternoon after all yeah. that sleep. Yeah. In any case, we, we've talked about uh, some of the details about having to work for a government entity as serious as the MTRCB. It is serious work, isn't it, it is, Jackie? Yes, it is. Uh, how come I hear laughter in a lot of the rooms? You know, well, uh, you where I don't about, preview. No, you laugh about things that you watch on television. I see. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you, you review the most absurd things mm -hmm. on Earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, waste of time things. Mm -hmm. Plus, we do a lot of, like, People bring food, right? Jackson, yeah. So we're constantly. They're showing yeah. a clip. I think this is showing another side of uh, our 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 colleague Rachel. Yeah. Uh, apart from what she does in MTRCB, she also does a program in her native Cebu. Yes, right. I do a show every yes, Saturday yeah. mm -hmm. in Cebu City. Yeah, mm -hmm. you look so nice. Mm -hmm. I want to see the singing mm -hmm. <laughs> or the dancing. You don't want to yeah, see yeah, the dancing. I want dancing. to see the dancing. Okay, next time. So yeah. that's how you. That was your. Was it your entree into the MTRCB that you performed so well in, in, in your TV program that we just no, had to actually, get you I as did, a colleague? I was in MTRCB mm -hmm. way before this show started. 
Mm-hmm. I think it was my whole background. I did like I did the news, I did theater, mm-hmm. I did a whole lot of things. Mm-hmm. So uh, which uh, qualified total me. entertainer. Yeah. Uh, and now you're a censor, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, um, no, you're not supposed to say yes. You're supposed to say not a censor. I don't want to embarrass you and uh, say you were wrong. A, cl- you know? classifier a, a, a classifier a and a narrator <laughs> or you know, a, a reviewer. Yes. Uh, oh, one thing I forgot, ladies and gentlemen. One thing these two lovely ladies have in common, another thing they have in common, is their political pedigree, you might say. Uh, Jackie Aquino Gavino is the daughter of former Makati representative Butz Aquino mm-hmm. and uh, Rachel got the name right. Uh, Rachel uh, is the daughter of current Deputy Speaker Raul Del Mar, right, uh, of Cebu City, representing Cebu City. Uh, but it is certainly not these political connections that landed them in the MTRCB positions. Uh, as Rachel was saying, it was because she was a total entertainer. And I might say the same of my friend Jackie. She was a child star, right? Was I? Yes, yeah, she was a child star and a budding, mature superstar. Yeah, yeah. A child star? Okay. Yeah, you tell us about what you used to do with, I remember, your, your boyfriend, uh, Rod, Rod, Rod Paulare. Paul, Paul, Paul yeah, why can't you say, uh, say uh, it? Do you want me to shoot him you know, now? I, I'm stammering when, whenever I, I say a, so uh, mention a name. Yeah, yeah, it, right, yeah. right. Yeah, tell us about the, you, you had what? love scenes with, with Fernando no. Poe, with Joseph Estrada, or something like that. <laughs> Right? No, no, I did movies with them. Roderick was in the mm-hmm. first movie that I did, and he mm-hmm. was my brother. Oh, okay. And he uh, played uh, a gay Superman. Mm. Mm. So, so it was a homosexual incest story. No. Uh, did it pass it the MTRC? Yes, 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 yes. And Miguel Rodriguez uh, was uh, my boyfriend there. Ah, uh, okay. And uh, a gorgeous, yeah. gorgeous man. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, and that was my first film. I also did a movie with Fernando Poe Jr. Yes. I yeah. was um, mm-hmm. his girlfriend, and. Uh, and that's it. I did, I did many movies with different politicians, mm-hmm. like um, Senator Bong Rodilla uh-huh. and Senator Lito Lapid. Before they became politicians. Yes, and yeah. Senator Jin Goy. Yeah. So what did he say like when you offered of him? Of like, oh. You asked him why he didn't eat yet or something. Uh, what's that? Jackie, now you're telling me that you, you have, uh, these three gentlemen have something in common, that they all appeared as your leading man yeah, before be- politics entered yeah, their minds. Yeah, before they became yeah. senators. Uh, what, what did so you do to them? Charm. Yeah, what did you know. do to them? Maybe you're, I uh, fed them pancit. I yeah, don't know. Brainwashing them that, you know, entertainment's not the be-all and the no, end-all. No, it was long time ago. You have to serve ago. the people. Well, uh, um, I think uh, it was also from their family backgrounds. Mm-hmm. Um, they also came from families of... Uh, they were destined to become yes, uh, yes. politicians. Right? And many, poli- many, many people yeah. from show business actually go into politics. And yeah. many people from politics go into show business. Uh-huh. Very fine. Yeah, you yeah, you right. work with yeah, a lot vice of, versa, with the yeah. masses. Yeah, because both fields are actually entertainment yes. to begin with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes. right. yeah. I get, I've always known that, that Lito Lapid was destined to become a senator. Yeah, the, the first time I saw him uh, getting a horse, yeah, mm-hmm. I knew he was going to be a, a senator. Yeah. Oh. And especially when he started tumbling. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, I, I know he could even be a, a vice presidential candidate. Yeah, hey, electioneering. Yeah, right, right. right. Uh, now, I, I was just trying to provide humor to. Uh, Usually what is a serious show, except that now we have a couple of colleagues in a very serious agency, which is so, uh, it's getting the other way around. But Jackie does um, more than that. She can I also invite? Yes, Sorry, yeah. can, I, can I invite? Um, I'm actually doing a movie now. Uh-huh. It's under the direction of our national artist, Eddie Romero. Is that right? It's yeah, entitled yeah. Okay, uh, Teach Me to Love. Wow. And it stars uh, Maui Taylor and mm. Don Don Gutierrez. Mm-hmm. And Nathan Lopez. Very good, very and, good. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear that our national artist, Eddie Romero, one of my favorite directors, is coming out of temporary retirement yes, and actually yes. directing this. Mm-hmm. Uh, who, who wrote the script, would you know? Um, Cynthia? I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't remember her uh, Cynthia. Uh, not, not Cynthia who schedules us in, no, no, in no, the no, MTRCB. No, no, no. She writes uh, a lot of stuff, but not that. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. And when is, when, when is the shooting? Um, uh, I think before, before, no, we finished shooting, we finished mm-hmm. filming, and mm-hmm. it's supposed to come out uh, sometime soon. Okay. It actually okay. came out already in the CCP for Cinema uh-huh, Nella last uh-huh, week. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
Are you going to lobby for a particular rating? What was uh, the title? Is the Cinema Laya? Teach Me to Love. Okay. Teach Am me I going to, to lobby? Love. Um, yes, uh, your, your colleagues in the MTRCB? I mean, no, she doesn't need to. Uh, do I get uh, peanut cakes from you? Uh, no, you'll get singkamas with asin. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll give you drinks. peanut cakes uh, if you... If you mm -hmm. If you're in the but I know that Jackie is involved in something else apart from showbiz and apart from the MTRCB on both ends, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there is something that you are She's involved engaged with a lot in. of things. But uh, a particular think, yeah. business or, or activity that uh, involves children. Yes. Could you talk to, to us about okay. this? Yeah. Um, I'm part of Jim Play and Music. Mm -hmm. It's a franchise that we brought in from San Francisco. Uh -huh. It's been in the business for what, since 1976, and mm. it has 550 sites all over the Is that world. Is right? Already? Yes. Oh, all so, over the world. Yeah, okay. so here in the Philippines, mm. we have six. We have uh, Manila Polo Club, uh -huh. Shangri-La Mall in Mandaluyong. I know the one in Shangri-La Mall. I yes. used to go there when I was a kid. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, Whatever. I, was, I mean, when I had a kid. When I had a kid. Which so, kid? Had a kid. Uh, yeah. You have a newborn? Uh, something like that. Uh, it's like well, yeah, newborn in any case, yeah. five years okay. old. Because I was there because you gave me a free hour or something. And whose kid did you bring? Yeah, yeah, to play with the kids. Yeah. And you played with them or you brought your own? Let's get off this topic. No, uh, no, 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 no. You, now, you talk about Jimbury, okay? okay? How does so uh, also, a parent takes a kid to Jimbury? Okay, yes, yes, and yes. Wait. We also have we also have mm -hmm. one in Westgate Alabang, mm -hmm. in Vanilla Town Center in Cebu, uh -huh, in okay, uh, okay. Serendra and uh -huh. Trinoma. So we have six sites here in the Philippines. So um, mm -hmm. it's a parent-child okay. interaction. Oh, there, there you have you have a video of. Uh, yes. So it's a parent-child interactive program and. Uh, the parents come with their mm. children to attend the classes. Oh, it's not something like a daycare center where no, no. Uh, actually, parents who are shopping are going to drop no, off their kids. No. Well, later on, the, uh, like we have um, GLLP, which is the Jibri Learning Lab program. It's for three years old and above. They actually can leave their children there. It's like, mm -hmm. a, it's like a preschool. Okay. So they come uh, five mm -hmm. times a week. Whereas mm -hmm. um, the other classes we have, we have play, music, and arts. Mm. And we have Are these certified? Is, is this something that's uh, associated with, you know, like, like do you apply DEX, for instance, or no, no, no. the education? It's, it's a franchise from the state, so... Mm -hmm. um,